If you want to see me unbox the Lancôme Holiday Blockbuster set for 2022, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time here on HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup, then welcome. Now I am talking Blockbuster kits today, and more specifically, I am talking about the Lancôme Blockbuster kit. Hopefully we can see it without too much uh, glare. And it's a very shiny box. <laughs> but that is the one that uh, I'm going to be talking about today. If you want to see the Estee Lauder kit, I will put the video right there for you. Um, but today is not home. So uh, this is the box, the overall box that the kit uh, came in. And uh, I'm just going to open up the box and show you the, um, the case that is available this year. And I think it's a really good choice. I think they made a very, very good choice of um, packaging for the uh, for this year's uh, blockbuster set. Okay, so inside, let's take a look. I'm just unzipping it, and we'll open it almost like a you know in those movies they're doing the suitcase with the with the dollars. Well, this is suitcase with the makeup. And this is the overall look of the Blockbuster set. Let me just see if I can tilt it a little bit more. There we go. That's everything in the kit. And one of the things that I did notice from this year is that the Estee Lauder set, all the items were wrapped in tissue paper. And in this case, for this specific case of Lancôme, they have a cardboard insert now. It's no longer plastic. I complained about that fact last year that there were still some inserts that are plastic. And this year, the brands really stepped up and fixed their packaging, which I think is awesome. So inside the case, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 products. And I want to walk through all of those with you. And I will start it off with the product out of everything that I have actually uh, used. I used uh, two, I think, of the, the products. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else, but it's possible. So there is uh, the box itself for the palette. And I'm just going to open that right here. And it is protected with bubble wrap, which I appreciate. And it is very much a palette like last year. The one last year was black. This one now is gold so that you can tell them apart easily, but the, the overall component looks very much the same. So I'll just get it open and the colors in this one, and you'll see that I, I got into it because I did a uh, first impressions uh, look in the, um, uh, in the previous video on this kit, but this is the official unboxing of everything. Uh, and these colors look very uh, muted and basic, but they are a complement to the palette from last year. And what I do really like about this one is the deep brown and the deep black, which is a very nice uh, complement to the more colorful palette that was available last year. This is all very uh, light and kind of neutral colors, but uh, if you have the two, they really go well together. So I'm not upset about it. And now this is the 12 eyeshadows, but there's also a drawer underneath and you have the same iconic face products that are usually included. And, I, and I'm not mad at that. I do like the fact that the face products are included with um, the eyeshadows, it makes for um, a one and done uh, eyeshadow palette, regardless of whether you have uh, both years worth or, or just one. Okay, very strange. I looked through my collection and I have specific places where eyeshadows are, eyeshadow palettes are, and I cannot find uh, the one from, from the previous year. So I will put on screen a picture of what the inside looks like for the old uh, palette or the one from last year uh, so that you can compare 
to uh, to the one that I have here. And you'll see, I'll put it this way, uh, and I think you'll see that it is uh, quite complementary. Uh, they are complementary to each other with this one being quite quite neutral compared to some punches of color like a, a, um, a kind of pinky burgundy, almost a little bit purple to a, a very nice emerald green uh, that uh, this palette could very well complement quite easily what was available last year. Okay, so um, I did show you the palette, so 12 eyeshadows and then the face products underneath. Um, I think this is a very good component. The only thing that bugs me about it is because it's a domed top, it does not, st you can't stack uh, palettes one on top of the other, but definitely would be fine on its side and would be pretty stable on its side. Uh, the inside of it has uh, a total of 22.7 grams. So that is the amount of product that is in it. And each eyeshadow has what, just over one gram of product to give you an idea of how much is in here. So 12 grams of uh, overall eyeshadow. And uh, when it comes to the uh, face powders, each one is 2.6 grams for the face powders. So. Yeah, that is the uh, this palette. And going back into this case, let's take a look at what else there is. Uh, I won't bother with uh, this product. This is the Be Facile, it's a makeup remover. Uh, there is the Lancome Genifique Serum. There's also the uh, Genifique um, Eye Cream, which is pretty awesome. Um, there is the uh, Tonic, tonic uh, Comfort, which is uh, it is called the Rehydrating Comforting Toner, so it's a mini of that. A mini of the Renergy Re <laughs> Lift Multi Action Ultra Cream. So this is a this is a mini, and there is the um, the perfume, the um, uh, iconic perfume for Lancome. And I'm really excited, and I put it back upside down. <laughs> I'm excited to show you about, to show you this product, so hang on. Um, and I do want to show you this one as well. So there's there's a, a lip gloss. Nothing more really to say than to show you that color. And uh, this mascara wand I will take out as well. So I'm going to show you the mascara and the lipstick because they do look and perform a little bit differently than just seeing it in. Uh, the case. And like I said, I won't take out the perfume, but I am wearing it today. And it does, it, it goes on strong, but it gets uh, a lot milder throughout the day, which I'm not unhappy about. So that's a good thing. Um, I am excited this year in the Lancome set that I got a chance to try the Idol mascara. I uh, did wear it yesterday and I was pretty impressed with it. Today I am wearing an Estee Lauder uh, mascara, the, the Supreme uh, mascara. I think that's what it's called. I just figured I would get it out for you. So this is the Supreme uh, mascara from Estee Lauder. That's the one I'm wearing today. This is the wand. It's a ridiculously large wand uh, and it does give me a little bit of trouble because it is so big. Um, and then this is the... Um, Idol uh, mascara. You can see the the name of it on this side. I do appreciate that it's a square packaging. It will not roll off your counter, and I do appreciate the Lancome imprint on the top. I think that's pretty classy. And I have to make sure that I mention that it is a plastic wand. Not everyone likes plastic wands. I'm not uh, very keen on them myself. But the uh, curved nature of the wand. It has not poked my eye yet. Um, and normally, every single time I wear a plastic wand uh, mascara, I try to apply product with it, I poke my eye. This has not happened with Idol. And I had it on yesterday and I was really impressed with the mascara. It looks really good. So if you take a look at uh, the makeup application, my first makeup application with the Lancome kit, you will see me use this mascara. So that covers this mascara, and I want to talk to you about the lipstick. So the lipstick, in this kit there is a gloss, which I showed you earlier, and there is this lipstick. Well, this lipstick, and there's, it does not bother me that there's only one, for two reasons, the color and the component. 
So this is a beautiful component for a lip product. I think you'll agree it's kind of tapered in the center. That's very pretty. Nalcom is written on the side in gold. That's beautiful. Emblem on the top. But this is the exciting part. So underneath it says what the lipstick is, which is 274 French Tea Cream uh, from L'Absolu Rouge. So it's that from that line. And you, pr you press on the bottom, or pardon me, you press on the top. <laughs> I have it upside down again. Urgh. All right, press from the top. It releases. You pull. And look at the detail on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? And then you roll up your lipstick, and it is not a red, so that you can wear it for more occasions than just Christmas. I appreciate the fact that they did not go red with this lipstick. That's what I was worried about. This is perfect. It's a very nice uh, color that a lot of people can wear. We get tired of red, and I'm so glad that Lancome did not put a red in here. And to put it back in, it snaps back in. It's beautiful. I'm going to love using this component. It's just perfect. So this is a new discovery for this year's kit. This is a new discovery for this year's kit. There was one like this uh, in the not too distant past, but I thought it was a red lipstick. And so I'm just happy that it is not a red lipstick for 2022. This just makes this component is just a real, real treat uh, in this whole set. And I have to say that, that I'm very happy to have tried this mascara and it's i'm impressed i'm impressed by these two products super happy about them so we've talked about the palette we've talked about the mascara we have talked about this beautiful lipstick and we only have one product that is makeup uh, left which is the gloss i did wear this gloss with the knock home look that I did do. So uh, watch that video to get a feel for uh, this lip gloss. I enjoyed it. It is not sticky. That's what I'll say for now. And then what I am left with in the case is the perfume itself and the skincare. And the skincare toner, uh, makeup remover, uh, skin uh, cream for, for the face, so uh, facial uh, cream, eye, um, eye cream, <laughs> and a serum. So you have pretty much everything that you need. That is the case for the Lancome set as well as the Estee Lauder set. And just as we go through all of these products, let me tell you the valuation that I have for these products. Now for Lacombe for 2022, um, I purchased two concealers in order to be able to have enough spend to be able to be eligible to buy the Blockbuster kit. And they are these two. And I was not sure which one to get and it turns out they're very, very similar. So one of them is porcelain uh, one and the other one is uh, ivory. So let me just open up just one of them. I don't think I have to show you both, but they, they look the exact same color. It's, it's virtually the same and it's a lot of concealer, but it was $46. Now I'm not that offended by it because a concealer lasts for a really, really long time at this volume. So I'm not worried about um, the, the value for money. This is going to last me for a long time. Is it an atrociously expensive concealer? Yes, but a concealer is not often this big. So from that perspective, I'm okay. Um, did I need to purchase two? No, <laughs> especially the size they are, no. Uh, but I do also uh, appreciate something that I did not notice when I did purchase them was that they are waterproof. And that makes me very, very happy. They're probably going to be my top drawer um, concealer going forward and I was virtually out of concealer which made it a good purchase and it does not emphasize wrinkles under the eye um, it, it sets beautifully so far 
And so 46 times two enabled me to get the kit. And the kit itself is 115 plus $85 of product purchase uh, for a total of uh, $200 for the kit uh, itself, kit and whatever product it is that you, you bring uh, within it. So what I did purchase were the two concealers. The two concealers for $46 each came out to $92 of a purchase, which was over the 85 minimum requirement. So I was able to purchase the kit uh, based on that purchase. So in total, I spent the 115 for the kit and the $92 for the concealer. So overall, I spent $207. But what is in the kit and was it worth it to spend that kind of money up front and then get into the kit? Well, I'm going to start with the little, little guy. Uh, I am giving this perfume a $5 value. I, I don't care for it that much. It's an okay perfume, but it's not my jam. Um, so it, it's a cute glass bottle. Okay, five bucks. Um, and it would be, I won't do it because I've used it, but uh, it would be a nice little um, ornamental gift to go along with a, a Christmas present, for example. So that one I gave $5. This next one, a lot of people will not like me and that's okay. So the next product is the Lancome Be Facile, which is a makeup remover. And it is a very good makeup remover. I'm not poo-pooing it. It's a good product. But I can get, I think for $8, 200 ml of the of, of, a, of Garnier makeup remover. Eight bucks for a lot more uh, product. This is 125 mil. I think the Galnia is either 200 or 400. I'm just, I'm just not remembering. And the only reason I'm not buying Galnia right now is because I keep getting these <laughs> every year and I don't need a whole lot of makeup remover. So, um, so to me, I can't, I can't justify giving it more than $8 value when I can buy the Galnia makeup remover for that price at $7.99 when it's on sale. So that's, I can't give it more than, than that value. So uh, it doesn't matter to me what it, it, it's worth because I have a substitute that's just as good. Uh, and I, that prevents me from wanting to spend uh, more money on this product or to value it for more. And I have to say the same thing about this Tonic Confort. I also gave this one an $8 value because a toner to me is, is toner a toner um, I don't I don't need I don't feel like I need to pay um, a high-end brand price for a toner therefore I don't I don't value this uh, all that much and I will give it the same value even though it's smaller than the makeup remover um, I, I'm going to give it the same value eight bucks now the train case this year I will also give it a value and I'm actually going to give it $20 because I think it is it's a standout train case compared to not train case but but overall like a, yeah I'll call it a train case for now um, almost like a gold suitcase it is one of the best overall uh, cases that they have come out with for these holiday blockbuster sets the only one that I like more than this one is the round uh, the cylindrical train cases from I think three years ago I think 2019 uh, was black train cases double decker train cases that were beautiful um, I do put this though in kind of the same category in that it is a beautiful packaging to give as a gift and uh, and I think that they did a really good job in selecting their uh, case for this year so that to me is worth $20 as I said and now we're getting into the lip products and I have to say that this lipstick because of how neat it is I am putting a value of $20 it is definitely gorgeous packaging if anything I might be under stating this one it might be even in the $30 range just because of how absolutely cool this component is but um, I will value it for now, in my my opinion, at twenty dollars, where other lipsticks that I've valued so far this year in holiday blockbuster sets have been ten dollars, so um, twenty for this one.
And I mean, I have to consider as well for the lipsticks, we don't get to choose the color. We don't get to choose the color. So I'm, if I got to choose the color, I would probably say it's worth 30, but I did not have a say in the color. Therefore, I'm deducting it, uh, deducting a third of what should be the value because I did not get to choose. Same for this gloss. Uh, this is a beautiful color to me, but I'm not going to say that everybody's going to be happy with this color and you, you don't get to choose. It's a, it's a nice peach color, no problem, uh, but I'm going to give it $10 because, again, you only you just get what you get uh, and you don't have a say in the color, which normally with makeup, it kind of matters which color you pick. So um, $10 for this lip gloss, I think is perfectly reasonable. Oh, and the lip gloss is not sticky. It, it's, it's very nice. It is truly very nice. Now let's talk about the face products. Uh, there is a full size Genifique uh, serum included, which is pretty awesome, and a full size of the eye cream. So these two are worth uh, quite a bit if you are purchasing them on their own. And the eye cream, I would say, is uh, worth $50. Uh, and the serum itself, I uh, priced it at $75. And, and I think that these are, that's a reasonable price for, uh, for those two products. So that was $125 for both. And then this one, which is the um, Multi Action Ultra um, Renergy Lift. It is a lifting and firming cream, but there's not a whole lot. I think it's 15. I can't see how much, uh, how many mil it is, but it is, it's a small, uh, cream and I, I'm not ready to give it more than a uh, $10 value. Uh, and even then to me, it's borderline a sample. It's just not a whole lot of, of product. And so, and it's not even, it's, it's definitely not full. I'm just not inclined to give it much value, uh, if at all. And I'm glad it's in there because I'll use it, but um, it, it's just the packaging is kind of meh. Uh, there's, there's a label that's been redone on this that makes me wonder what the heck is going on. Um, so if anything, even giving it a $10 value is kind of a stretch. So that's as much as I would possibly give uh, to that product. So based on my math, I paid $207. I paid for the kit and I paid for uh, items. So the two uh, uh, concealers along with the price that I had to pay in order to get the kit. And that cost me $207. Well, when I tally all of this up, the value I come up with is $257. So I came out ahead by $50 in having done my whole valuation of what I paid versus what I got in the kit. And I'm pretty darned happy about that. Um, and I, yes, I am dismissing the products that I purchased as well, but I did have that cash outlay in order to get the value of 257, if that makes sense. So regardless, that's what I had to pay. And I feel like given that I valued things at $50 over the break even, I feel like this was a worthwhile purchase and I'm very happy and I keep looking at the products. I'm very happy with the kit this year. I think they did a really good job. The lip products are great. The new mascara is great. I think it was a very good choice uh, to go for this year. I usually buy the Lancome and the Estee Lauder kits, but I have to say that I'm particularly happy with the Lancome kit, both for how much I had to pay to get it and the, the value that I was able to compute from there. So out of the two, I kind of like the Lancome kit better, but I think that um, it does depend on what it is that you care about the most. If you care about skincare the absolute most, I would suggest the Estee Lauder kit is better. If you care about cosmetics more, then I would say that the um, Lancome kit is the better one. 
So that is my my valuation for Nakom for this video and just kind of a sneak peek of where I feel like it, it sits uh, among the two blockbuster sets. Let me know what you think, having seen the couple of videos back to back, and I would uh, love to hear. I would love to hear what you have to say, which one's your favorite, and why. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the evaluation for the Nalcombe set. I hope you have taken a look at the Estee Lauder evaluation, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And also, in my evaluation, did I miss anything? I would love to hear that as well. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.